To be honest, until recently I was almost certain that there was no real competition to Apple's Mac Mini in the small computer arena, especially in terms of performance. And when I first encountered the new concept when we reviewed the Asus NUC 14 Pro, I was convinced of the complete opposite. So much power in such a small form factor that you can literally put it in your pocket made me realize how little attention the new concept has received compared to what it deserves. With the Nuke having recently passed from Intel to Asus, we'll leave the story to the new marketing team. And as reviewers, it's up to us to tell you what these computers can actually do. So today we have the Asus NUC 14 Pro Plus, which is, shall we say, a more advanced version of the standard 14 Pro NUC. First of all, the Asus NUC 14 Pro Plus comes in a very stylish case that is largely made of aluminum, with the exception of the kickstand, which is made of plastic. Those of you who know me well will know that I am always a fan of lighter colors, so I really appreciate the fact that they have gone for a gray and white combination, which still makes it clear that you have a top-of-the-range computer on your desk. But on the other hand, thanks to its very low profile and minimalist edges, it will fit into almost any working environment. On the front, next to the power button, we have two standard USB 3.2 Type-A ports with a transfer rate of up to 10 gigabits per second, as well as a USB Type-C rated to 20 gigabits, which is really great. At the back of the mini PC, there are two Thunderbolt 4 ports and two HDMI 2.1 ports, so in practice, you can connect up to four monitors to this machine. There is also a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, two more USB Type-A ports, one of which is 2.0, and a power port. The only things missing from my use case are the 3.5mm audio jacks and an SD card reader, which would make life a lot easier for those of us who have to deal with those awful external readers on a daily basis. When Asus took over the Nook, it introduced the screwless case opening, so that Nukes can be opened with just a few clicks. However, as the Nook 14 Pro Plus we received is a media sample, it may have arrived with a small defect in the form of a broken pin, which prevented us from opening the case without causing further damage. I would like to mention here that this is only a problem with the sample we have to test, because as I have researched, people have not had any problems opening this Nook, it's just that errors creep in during the manufacturing process. Our usual practice in these situations is to wait for a second sample from the manufacturer, but since the reviews have to go according to the agreed schedule, there was no time to wait for a second sample. All this did not prevent me from finding out what we have inside the case. So the heart of this system is a very fast Intel Core Ultra 9 185H processor. It is a processor with 6 performance, 8 efficient, and 2 low power cores, which gives us a total of 16 cores, that is 22 threads. While in terms of frequencies, the performance cores can go up to 5.1 GHz. Inside the processor, we have built-in Intel Arc graphics, from which in games we can't expect more than the performance of a GTX 1060 card, which I think is just okay for such a small PC. And there is an NPU unit, so if AI is important to you, you don't have to worry, because as Asus states, this computer is AI ready. As I said, it is a very fast processor, so in such a small format we have 30% more performance compared to the Ryzen 7 5800X, which is a full-blooded desktop processor. Of course, as expected for this format, the processor temperatures reached as high as 104 degrees during the Cinebench test, where throttling was activated on almost all cores to keep the system stable. This was in a situation where the built-in fan was spinning at around 2,300 revolutions per minute in standard mode, while switching the fan to performance mode, that is 3,300 revolutions per minute. The temperatures remained almost identical and throttling was only enabled on a few cores. In both cases, the processor was able to draw up to 100 watts, while the whole system consumed about 115 watts, which I think is really ridiculous in relation to the computing power it offers. Okay, I was fully aware that this was an unrealistic scenario and that in practice, no one would manage to load the processor that much, 
so I wanted to see how this PC would perform in video editing in rendering, where I specifically ran a project from one of our reviews in Adobe Premiere. Preview and response were at a pretty good level, even with very demanding color correction and a lot of effects. Thanks mostly to the good cooperation between Adobe and Intel. The only place where the lack of a separate graphics card was clearly noticeable was during rendering in Media Encoder, where a 4K video at 100 megabits per second was rendered for about 13 minutes, which is an okay result and nothing more. During rendering, the temperature of the processor itself hovered around 80 degrees Celsius, while the consumption did not exceed 75 watts, which is more than good for such a small machine. Of course, thanks to the Thunderbolt 4 ports, you can connect an external graphics card to this NUC and turn it into a high-end workstation, while if you think the Ultra 9 processor is too much for you, we also offer variants with a weaker Ultra 7 or 5. Ace's NUC 14 Pro Plus is also available in a special kit variant, where it comes without installed RAM and SSD. So for those needs, it has two slots available to install up to 96 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. While for storage, you have two M2 slots, one of which is for 2280 format and the other for 2242, so pay attention to that. In our sample, the NUC comes with 32 gigabytes of RAM at 5600 megahertz, which I consider optimal for this type of PC and today's standards. While for storage, we have a very fast Samsung Gen 4 NVMe SSD of 1 terabyte, whose speeds you can just see. The Nuke's built-in fan is not silent. You will hear this computer in both standard and performance modes, while in whisper mode, it is reduced to an absolute minimum. You can set all these modes through the MyAsus application, where you can also monitor the parameters of the entire system and make some other minor adjustments. As for the power supply, the adapter that powers the entire computer is included in the package, and it is a 150 watts power adapter signed by the good old FSP company. In addition to the Nuke and the adapter, the box, which is otherwise designed in a very interesting way, comes with all the necessary instructions, as well as a special accessory for visa mounting that is attached to the bottom of the case. When we draw a line and collect impressions, we are aware that this is a top mini PC that can satisfy the needs of even the most demanding users while taking up minimal space on the table. You can always take such a small computer with you without any problems. It will take up minimal space in your bag and you will always have your PC with you. Some of the disadvantages I would mention are the slightly higher temperatures and the lack of a 3.5 millimeter audio port and SD card reader. So there is room for Asus to bring a top product with the next generation. The price of this computer does not yet exist officially with us, and the recommended price for the copy that we have is $1240, which is a lot, but I consider it quite justified in relation to the complete package that it offers us, because you know everything that is good and should cost. Thanks for your time, keep following us, because there are more interesting products on the way, and we will see you in the future. Bye.